Marketing makes modeling. M M M. Are you navigating the world of digital marketing and wondering how to optimize your strategies, your performance? You are exactly in the right place. Hi, my name is Yevgen. Welcome to Marketing Analytics with Avax BI YouTube channel. And today we are diving into what marketing mix modeling is, what the top three use cases are, and why should you use the MMM approach in 2024 and beyond. Just do me a quick favor, click subscribe button and enable notifications so you get more insights about digital marketing strategies, data analytics, and more. With this being said, let's dive right in. Marketing Mix Modeling, or MMM, is a data-driven method of statistical analysis that uses both sales and marketing data to estimate the impact of internal and external marketing activities on sales. It's used by brands to measure marketing effectiveness and predict the impact of future efforts, most often on the ad spend and generated revenue. In a current multi-channel marketing approach, businesses are using search ads, paid social media ads, display ads, PR activities, billboards, organic Instagram, Facebook or X activities, webinars, email marketing, affiliate programs, all of those stuff and so much more. Plus, those marketing channels can make their own thing at the different stages of your hero's journey, at the different stages of the sales funnel. For example, your Facebook ad may be focused on building brand awareness, email marketing to nurture leads, while bottom of the funnel tactics may include search ads to get more sales or close more deals. While lots of different channels and tactics can help you achieve multiple goals, and reach a larger audience, they can also mess things up. Nowadays, there are a lot of things to track. Advertising channels, website activities, mobile applications, emails, sales in your CRM tool. And as you add different channels to your stack, you will quickly find it more difficult to determine which of those channels are contributing the most to your goals. That's where advanced analytics tactics like MMM can help you out. It allows you to be a strategist for your marketing campaigns, much like a coach analyzing his sports team. Each marketing channel is a player on your team, and MMM helps you understand how each player contributes to the final score, how you reach the sales target this month, or even more, how each player contributes to the team's position at the end of the season, the whole business outcome. Imagine you're a soccer coach. You've got a team, each player with each unique skills. MMM is the analytics method that reviews past games, your marketing campaigns, across all the players, your platforms, accepting their behavior to see who influenced the score the most, sales or conversions. But the game is not just about scoring the goals. That would be just the last touch attribution model. You also need to miss less, decrease the money spent on ineffective campaigns. You need to progress the ball forward, increase the brand awareness with top of the funnel activities. You need to defend better. You might be okay to draw if the competitor is bold, overspend a little at one of the funnel stages to significantly increase the whole conversion. Marketing mix modeling is an approach that evaluates the whole season, all of the games, each little action on the ground. It acknowledges the defender's tackling, the middle fielder's assist, and the striker's goal, attributing success to each step in the journey. MMM looks at your paid ads, social media activities, email campaigns, seasonal promotions, and even competitor activities. It's a supercomputer that calculates the impact of each of your efforts on sales. The real beauty of MMM is its ability to distribute credits fairly across all of the marketing efforts. It helps you see which channels are your star players and which ones need a strategy tweak. With MMM, you are not just guessing where to invest your marketing budget. You get a 100% data-driven game plan that tells you which marketing campaigns should bring you the most conversions. It's a strategic approach that turns every marketing effort into a calculated move towards business success. But why should you really implement it in 2024 and what are the changes that happened recently? As we've already discussed, the world of marketing has never been so complex. Different advertising platforms and placements, 
that we as marketers can leverage to get the right message out at the right time at the right place. Some of those tools are easily trackable, but some are not at all. Plus, some of those platforms attribute more conversions to themselves than, than they deserve. Why? Privacy. Traditional pixel-based tracking methods become less effective due to the current privacy regulations. A significant proportion of traffic comes from unknown sources. This happens because of the limited lifespan of cookies in the browser, which leads to losing the connection between website conversions and user sessions from the original traffic source. As a result, marketers had to act blindly when allocating ad budgets and missing on the growth opportunities. Another problem is that non-consent data doesn't have session traffic sources even for converted visitors. Look, that's the whole another big topic. If you want to learn more about how to overcome those traditional tracking limitations, I've recorded a video about server-side tracking, I mean, you can find it right here. And I'll also leave a link in the description to this video. This all means that marketers need a way to evaluate so many tactics, limitations, and finally, data to find what exactly is the most valuable for getting sales. Marketing mix modeling, when performed correctly, provides a sophisticated approach to understanding the complex interplay of marketing channels and strategies. And the data is used for MMM should be, first of all, accurate, trusted, and reliable. Because do you want to make budget allocation decisions based on data you don't trust? Of course not. With marketing mix modeling, marketers can gain a holistic view of results of your marketing efforts. With that wider, larger, more helicopter view that can better determine where to allocate resources right now, be it a new ad campaign, another channel, or improving email copy. Useful, right? Here's the top three of the most common use cases of how you can benefit from marketing mix modeling. Performance analysis, predictive modeling, and product pricing strategy. Let's dive into the first use case, performance analysis. It's about getting the most bang out of your marketing buck. Imagine you're sitting in front of your all-in-one performance dashboard. You've got all of your channels, Google Ads, Facebook campaigns, email marketing, and maybe even some old-school billboards. Each channel is consuming its part of your budget. But which one is really bringing in the gold? You should look at which sales amounts were attributed by your rules to each campaign. You're not just looking at surface level data. You're digging deeper to find out what investment in the particular campaign or the keyword is truly worth it. And let's say your social media ads are creating a buzz, but are they really leading to the sales? Or is the email marketing that's slowly converting subscribers into customers? Marketing mix modeling helps you collect this puzzle together, overcoming which channels are the true heroes of your sales story at the final stage they've created for. And at the end of the day, you can allocate your budget more wisely. You start to invest more in channels that work at the overall level and cut back on those that don't. It's about being smart with your spending and efforts, ensuring every dollar contributes to your overall business goals. And the best part? This is not a one-time deal. Market mix modeling is dynamic. And as the market changes, as the consumer behavior shifts, market mix modeling keeps adapting, providing you with the ongoing insights for continuous improvements. And it's about staying agile and making data-driven decisions that keep you ahead of the curve. Now, let's move on to the second case. Predictive modeling takes your market analytics to the whole new level. It's about using historical data to make informed guesses about the future, if we can say so helping you better navigate the uncertainty. Think of predictive modeling as your GPS. It helps you chart the best route for your campaign based on the roads you've traveled before and the traffic right now. You're using past performance to predict future revenue. For example, your past campaigns show a trend. Increased social media ad spending leads to higher engagement, which correlates with spikes in sales. With predictive modeling, you can use these insights to forecast the potential success of ramping up your social media budget 
in the upcoming quarter and when exactly. It's like having a forecast that guides your budget allocation, campaign planning, and strategy development. But please note that predictive modeling isn't about exact predictions, but it gives you a more informed starting point for your decisions. It's a blend of art and science where data meets the strategy. And in the world where marketing needs to be agile and data-driven, that's a powerful combination. Use case number three, product pricing strategy. If you want to improve not only the sales, but also optimize the strategies for profitability, it's important to see how marketing mix modeling can help you adjust the pricing strategy. MMM and pricing is a crystal ball. You're not just guessing the best price for the specific product, but you're using a combination of historical sales data, market trends, and consumer behaviors to find the sweet spot. And let's say you have a range of products. Market mix modeling helps you analyze how different pricing strategies have impacted the sales in the past. It looks at how price changes affect demand, competitors' pricing strategies, and marketing conditions. Imagine you're considering a price hike for a best-selling product. With market mix modeling, you can predict how this might affect the sales volumes. Will the increased price deter customers? Or is the perceived value of the product high enough to sustain the increase? MMM helps you strike a balance between profit margins and sales volumes. It guides you on when it's going to be the most beneficial to other discounts, how to bundle products, or if a premium pricing strategy would work. In essence, Marketing Mix Modeling turns product pricing adjustment into a strategic opportunity, empowering you to make decisions that not only maximize the revenue, but also align with your brand positioning and marketing dynamics. While MMM offers numerous benefits, it's not without challenges. Implementing Marketing Mix Modeling on your own requires a deep understanding of nitty-gritty details of data collection, marketing analytics, coding, and more. It often requires collaboration between the teams to ensure seamless flow. Here's the deal. If you need help implementing the marketing mix modeling and building the machine learning full funnel attribution, our XBI and our team of analytics experts are here to make your day. Just follow the link in the description to this video, book a call with a member of our team, and we'll find the right analytics stack for your needs. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you implementing the data analytics right.